Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Today, this episode is taken from a stream that I did, I think about a week ago. And unfortunately, the audio is a bit messed up, as what usually happens despite my best efforts. Um, the game audio is a little bit louder than my commentary is, and so I've had to edit out uh, quite a substantial amount of stuff that was basically not understandable. That's not a word, but we're going with it. Um, so, yes, it's been edited down a little bit. But yeah, this was from a stream, so you'll hear me you'll, you'll you'll hear me talking to other people occasionally. I did start the stream out without people, so it was just kind of normal for a while. Um, but yeah, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I will see you in a second. All right, looks like I'm on my own for now, and that's fine. I'm gonna be brave and just hope. And my volume is decent. Haven't played this for like, I don't know, feels like two months, but it's probably just a month. I'm finally, finally getting in here to do it. It's on the crappy TV, the hotel TV though. So I don't get to see it in quite its full glory. That's okay though. But today we're doing some. Oh, hi, Grammy! Hi! <laughs> I'm. This is gonna go on YouTube soon. Let's do. I don't even remember. I tried to look at, uh, like, the, the pit at the bit I recorded, like, a month ago. And it was like, I don't really know what I was trying to do, so I'm just gonna probably hop on this. I mean, we could do Garrus's, but let's do this one. I I hope I didn't have a plan for being here because I'm leaving. <laughs> anyway, we're shaking things up a bit. Um, Message coming in. Patching it through. I received some troubling yeah. information, Commander. We need your help. Someone is killing former Alliance scientists. There have been four oh, deaths this in the past is the. Uh, what is it? The sole survivor uh, background. If you t if you pick that, otherwise everybody di dies. There is no sole survivor. I'm happy to look into it, Admiral. What can you tell me? All four scientists worked on a classified project on the coups. There was a brutal massacre there years ago. An entire unit was killed by Thresher Maws. It was classified as a natural hazard, but the project dates coincide with the attacks. That can't be a coincidence. There was one other scientist on the project, Dr. Wayne. I'm transmitting his last known coordinates. Good luck. Oh, I think that actually that corresponds to this. I think, like, us go- like, the, the scientist being warned is the one that we're trying- like, that we are gonna do right now is the same thing as this scientist that we just heard about, the last known survivor right now. Yeah, yeah, you still you still get all the backgrounds um, for everybody. Um, like the call, we'll probably get the colonist background at some point too, where you find the other colonist who uh, was a slave and is like real messed up because of it. Oh yeah. Suppose these uh, these lost crypts of beings of light. These entities were supposedly created at the dawn of time to protect organic life from synthetic machine devils. This, this volus has been excavating at Kunan Quarry's toxic surface for two decades at great expense. No government has valued the world enough to evict his small army of mercenaries. Dang. Matriarch. So the machine devils, though, it's like, oh, maybe he's freaking... He's seen something. Maybe. Oh, well, the scan of the planet Clen Cory revealed the cockpit of a Volus trading vessel. There are no signs of the rest of the ship. <laughs> Just the cockpit. Uh, but the salvage team's current world of Matrix and only is riding to the ship system. Nice. Tipped on its side. Ooh, a gas deposit. Alright, let's go land.
look, we're perfectly balanced. It's so weird to go from the Fenris romance of Dragon Age 2 that I just completed to like jump into this and be like, oh, King. Like, I have to, like, mentally, I have to do, like, a, a, like a gear switch in my head. I'm like, oh, yes, I love Caden now. <laughs> There's a planet. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know. That one, that one's actually, it's way far out, but I remember finding Amaranthine, like, the second time I played. After, um, oh, look at that handsome man. Um, after I played Dragon Age, and I was like, oh my gosh. And, it, and it's a beautiful planet. It's like a purple, like, amaranthine color. It's really, really pretty. Um... Oh, this is the bug planet. Look at these bugs. Oh, but another part of me really wants to get out of Mass Effect 2. <laughs> so I'm like, let's go. I want to see Thane. Look at the bugs. Oh my... Oh, oops. There may be omnivores. Oh my gosh, they look so good. They look so cool. You guys eating Turians? Do you guys eat Turians? Does Garrus need to worry? <laughs> it's just neat. It's just real neat. I always wanted more. Uh, Turianus again. That fits. I always wanted more plant and animal life, but what little we get is pretty neat. Oh, and there's a baby. Look at the baby. Oh, look at me. It's so small. I don't know what these. Where'd they go? Those are. I don't know if it's like an ancient version of a bug <laughs> that's like I don't know solidified and become a plant somehow or if this is like their homes do they carry these on their backs or something are these just natural plants that grow naturally and then they gravitate towards them because they have like nutrients or something are they co-evolved like co-evolved are they like wait what no I just stepped on a bug on accident, but it's fine. Clear. See? They're like rock hard. No big deal. Freaking, <laughs> freaking, like, I, all I could hear was Caden, like, saying a voice line. And, uh, oh no. Okay, good. <gasps> I didn't know you could kill him. Oh my god. I ran, I just ran over that baby and it was fine, but I backed up into the, <laughs> backed up into the adult and it exploded, oh my gosh. I was, but I literally ran over the baby and it was fine and I was like, oh good, they're indestructible. And then, I was like, oh my gosh, I am. Rain, I'm a menace to the wildlife, I always am. Oh my gosh, that was horrifying, I'm so sorry. I just killed like the uncle or the mom or something. I don't know. Oh my god, that little family unit. I just destroyed it. <sighs> Time to reload. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was horrifying. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, oh, holy cow, do you see how far we are? What kind of sniper rifle do you have? Yeah, they're so far away, even just from here, that my sniper rifle can't measure the dog. I'm not gonna be an idiot about this. not doing much of anything to you, is it? You <laughs> the ragdoll physics. Oh, the make was unstoppable. I love it. We are playing on insanity, so their health pools are pretty good. You just activated one of your abilities.
can I hit it from here? Normal. That might help me. Sniper left somewhere. Get around that way, okay. Fire this Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh jeez. Oh make it thank you. Oh. Safe. We did it. Oh jeez. How long did that take? Like thirty minutes? It's good. It's good. It's a good warm up. Good to be back. That door doesn't open. Oh, Stay yeah, back! Yeah, yeah. I've got no grief with you. All I want is this bastard. Please! He's a madman! Mr. Tombs, you're insane! You need help! It's Corporal! Corporal Tombs! You don't get to lie! Not today! Today it all comes this is super, out. Super like emotional whenever you your background is the sole survivor because it turns out you're not the sole survivor, but this mercenary is another survivor. What all comes out? I'm listening, but I need you to put that gun down. You don't understand. I don't want to kill anyone. I I want to go to sleep without screaming in my dreams. I want the people who sent me to Akuz brought to justice. Can't you see that Tombs is crazy? Mm. Shoot him! But if I can't get that, I'll have to settle for killing the men who took my the life The guy doesn't away. want, the scientist doesn't want the dirty laundry to be aired, so he's like, oh, just kill him, just kill him. Okay, you can't, okay, that was weird. My stream crashed. Well, let's do this. What did the doctor do to you, Corporal? We were on a coos. When the Thresher Maws hit, my entire unit was wiped out. The Thresher Maws. The scientists were studying them. They let them hit our unit just to watch. I woke up in a holding cell. The scientists were delighted I'd survived. Now they had someone to run tests. Like, what do you need? To, what do you like? What did they think was gonna happen? Right? They're like, hmm. I wonder what happens when we put some squishy humans in the path of thresher thresher moths. Hmm. Oh, we'll have to run some experiments. Oh, you have open gaping wounds. Now we can study the bite or the poison effect on freaking. I don't know. It was just. It just seems really dumb. Like you know what thresher moths do. Also, you could just throw an animal in there if you're like that depraved, you know, you don't have to throw a human in there. Uh. What kind of tests are we talking about? You can't believe Tombs. He doesn't have any proof. I demand a fair trial. Ever had Thresher Ma acid in your veins? I have. They wanted to see what it would do. They're part of some organization, Cerberus, that runs secret tests like this. They treated me like a lab animal. This is justice. This man deserves to die. So, are you going to kill well, me or not? Well, the thing is, is like, I mean, he's killed the other ones, right? So I'm a little surprised he's still letting this guy live and talking to me, you know? 
it feels almost feels like, feels like he doesn't actually want to kill him, but he's already killed the other four, so it's like, hmm. You're better than this, Tombs. You're not like them. Don't tell me who I am. You got away with a few scratches and a scary reputation. The rest of the unit died, and I was tortured for years, Shepard. You can't judge me. You don't have the right. I feel like that's what he says when you're a part of the unit. But I wasn't a part of the unit. I was a war hero in, in the Blitz. Tombs, if I could have helped you on a coos, I would have. All I can do is help now. Let me. Okay. I'm no murderer. They couldn't make me one. Just as long as he goes to trial. Maybe the screaming will stop now. I don't know. Those bastards can't hurt you anymore. Joker, tell the Fifth Fleet we need a ship for pickup. Aye, aye, Commander. Tomb stares morosely at the floor, lost in his memories. You give the scientist a shove towards the door. Your mission is complete. The Alliance courts will take you from here. Unless Cerberus kills him on the way. Oh, I know, right? If one of the first things they say is you have no proof, they're probably guilty. He's like, I demand a fair trial. I'm like, uh -huh, okay. <laughs> Biotic fanatics have taken over a medical station and drug innocent researchers to service human shields. You must eliminate the biotics while minimizing, uh, avoiding civilian casualties. <laughs> oh my gosh. Message coming in. Patching it through. I reviewed your report on the situation, Commander. I'm glad to see you were able to take Dr. Wayne in alive. Now we can put him on trial and get some answers. Corporal Tomb seems to have found some closure. Hopefully with therapy, he'll have a normal life again someday. Thank you again for your assistance, Commander. Fifth Fleet out. I keep bringing in guys who need therapy. And in we go. It's interesting to get the glory and tidbits too, right? Let's see how that goes. Bring my two biotics in. Get smashed against a wall. Liara's are singularity is really powerful though. I should probably just start bringing her out. Liara and Rex would be probably the best bet. This is where the drug researchers are. Yes, check your targets. Civilians are addled by the drug and they'll wander right in the middle of the firefight. Hopefully, like, stuff like Singularity doesn't hurt them. <laughs> oh. I have a lot- my bio- our biotics are pretty, uh, area of effect heavy. Why do I have the sniper rifle? Oh, no, I don't. It just looks like a freaking sniper rifle. That's right, Liara's got an assault rifle, but she has no specializations on any weapons whatsoever. Hello? Oh, I'm scared. guy blew up the biotic terrorist blew up like a canister that was over there oh no why don't we do oh wisely no yara you're not supposed to be both oh we don't have any Ooh, we don't have any oh I need to reload 
We don't have any. We don't have any med gel. Med gel. They can get around that way. <laughs> no! What? No! The med. I know, Biotic Terrace cast Biotic Sleep is super effective. Well, apparently they just, I mean, they just brush you. <laughs> okay, I'm bringing the R, but I'm not bringing the cake. were tolerable. Tolerable. I didn't kill anybody. I didn't kill a single person. Evolution of humanity, huh? These botics didn't seem that different from the other scum you deal with. I didn't kill anybody. If the if they if the uh, if a scientist died, it was because somebody else killed him. This is the weirdest bug. They're all crawling through my fingers. I can feel their wings fluttering. Yeah. Yep, it still does it even when I put the weapon away. Oh, there we go. Now we're out of it. You will remember only having that bug into Mass Effect 2? One researcher died. Dang it. It was right, it was right there because there's that explosive device, that explosive canister right next to that scientist and they died. No. They come toward you to look at them. Have to look away. Keep moving and they can't steal your mouth. I hope they all take copious notes about their experiences. I'm sorry, researcher. I thought we were in the clear and then those two other biotics showed up. But at least I didn't kill them. But it, it still would feel like really, really bad, right? If you're like right there and somebody dies and you're like, no. Hey, hey, Gar Garrus, you want a new sniper rifle? No, he does not want a new sniper rifle. Message coming in. Patching it through. Good work, Commander. You took down the biotics with minimal collateral damage. I killed innocent people today, Admiral. The biotics set it up, but I pulled the trigger. The biotics had every advantage, including human shields. You lost a handful of civilians. Any other unit I sent in would have lost dozens of innocent lives. You saved a lot of lives today, Commander. Man. Fit fleet out. Usually. Usually, I don't kill people. Usually, I do better. Oh, I got Paragon points for that. How, how exciting. Ooh, we've almost maxed out Paragon. We don't have any Renegade. Oh, yeah. Usually, I get a little bit of Renegade, but not right now. Um, I think next on the list, yeah, is Garrus's. Herschel system and the Kepler Verge. Oh, this must have been because I this is where I started out uh, probably maybe an episode or two ago when I first started this stream. Oh yeah, I was like, oh I'm gonna go do Garrus's mission and then I didn't. Did, I forgot that they are not that they are husks. Yeah, 
yeah, this mission is this is mission is really scary, like scary, like in a in a way, <laughs> you're just like, oh my gosh, like, and the guy is so freaky. Like Doctor Salion slash Heart is such a freaky guy. Like what he's doing is so scary. <laughs> And apparently he's also messing with husks, which is just Thank you. Oh, don't Thank even you for saving do. me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Salion. What? My name is Hart! Dr. Hart! Please get me out of here. Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. We'll take him in, drop him off with the military. But we have him. We can't let him get away. Not again. If he dies, we'll never know what he's been up to, or how he did it. We'll take him in, interrogate him, and he'll serve his time. I... Okay. You're right. You're a very lucky Salarian. You owe the commander your life. Oh, thank you so very much. I can't... Yeah, I think you won't let us take him in. So he dies anyway. I'll what tell was the you. Point of that? I'll tell you. You can't predict how people will act, Garrus, but you can control how you'll respond. In the end, that's what really matters. Yeah. I don't think I ever met anyone like you, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here. Salian's medical equipment is seen with the blood of many species pale blue, violet, orange, and more than a few dark red. But his work has ended here, time to head back to the Normandy. Yeah, he's he's a he's a crazy guy, that's for sure. And not hard I don't know. Like you'd think he would just go for like being alive. You know. <laughs> and like in prison, but maybe he doesn't maybe he doesn't I don't know, maybe he's not into that, I guess. But ooh hoo like even even the banshees like I and I hate the banshees very much I can't I can't operate in these conditions like banshees are you are my least favorite bait of Mass Effect 3 for sure and and overall they're probably technically like the worst but I still like I st even after playing Mass Effect 3 and encountering Banshees, I was still like husks are the worst. Banshees are just like a different version of husks that can teleport and scream at you and it's really really sad. Um and scary. <laughs> uh, oh, it probably that's that's true like your average Salarian prison sentence cuz their lives are so short. No, he was definitely going in for life. Like he was going to be he was going to be life in prison for everything he'd done. But it's true. I think maybe he just didn't want to he just didn't want to give the information on how he um how he had done what he'd done, you know? And like like he didn't want to he just wanted to like die knowing that nobody would know how he did it, you know? That's probably it. Kind of a selfish psychotic thing to do, you know? And we're going to go ahead and cut it off there. Thank you all so much for watching. This is the part of the video where I say thank you to my patrons. So I want to give a shout out to Scalamonger, my first patron. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. And I want to say thank you so much to Reese Galito, who is, oh, also a sapling. So is, so is Scalamonger. Reese Galito, thank you so much for your sapling to your patron. I really, really appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Christopher, who is a tree tier patron. And I know I'm not necessarily supposed to shout out the acorns, but just this one time, I do want to say thank you to my brand new, um, 
a patron, Sean, who is an acorn patron, who now completes the trinity and uh, or trifecta uh, is probably more appropriate. The triforce of uh, t- tier of patron tiers. So thank you so much. Um, but the usually it's just the sapling in the tree that gets a name shout out at the end of the video. But just this once, I make an exception. <laughs> so thank you guys again so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it a lot. And thank you to everybody else for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.